Hi everyone and welcome to another Ready to Ride Pilates for Horse Riders session where today we are going to be working your abdominal muscles quite hard. These are a really key set of muscles for helping with spinal stability, helping with that stability between your seat and your upper body and your contact. Really important set of muscles to be working. We are going to be working them hard. I suggest you've warmed up before you start. This isn't a good session to do if you are new to Pilates, so please take a look through the channel if this is your first visit and maybe try and find a slightly easier one to get you going with. We're just going to get your whole body on the move before we really work those muscles. So you want to be sitting cross-legged or if you're not quite comfortable cross-legged, um, um, pop something underneath your bottom so your bottom's raised a bit open out through your hips. Pop your arms across your chest and then I'd like you to focus on having nice equal weight through both of your seat bones and maintaining nice level shoulders you're going to turn your shoulders from side to side and as you're turning your shoulders keep them level and keep that pressure through your seat bones equal. So remember when you're in the saddle, you want your seat bone pressure to be equal unless you specifically request it not to be equal, if you see what I mean. Okay, we're going to finish that one, then swap so your legs are folded the other way, arms are folded the other way. Again, check that your seat bones are level, shoulders are level, and then into those turns. If you can hear funny noises behind me but you can't see it, I've got an assistant in form of the cat. She might make an appearance in a minute, so I do apologise if she is distracting. So again, equal pressure through your seat, level shoulders. This will make sure that the whole of your spine, your trunk, is moving really evenly before we then start working your abs. Okie doke, face the front, and then we're going to bring your arms up above your head. I'd like you to reach up one side for a nice big breath in, so you're opening out down this side, and relax, then reach up the other side, give a big breath in and relax. We're alternating between the two sides, really opening out down the side. Big breath in at the top, we'll do one more each way. And then you're going to bring your arms back down. Okay, we're going to go onto your back. I'm going to start off with the abdo prep exercise, just to get your abdominals nicely loosened up and in to the moment. So you're going to have your feet and knees approximately hip width apart, your tummy in a nice neutral position. So if you've got a spiky ball or similar, use it for this one. I'm not using one because I'm in the garden and it's never flat enough. Okay, so hands beside you, pelvic floor onto floor three, then float your hands, reach for your toes, and then look between your legs. Take everything back down together. So let's check your tummy position, pelvic floor is onto floor three, then you float, reach, look between your legs and everything back down together. Your knees want to stay approximately hip width apart, your tummy stays in that neutral position and what you're trying to avoid is imprinting through your low back so we're not dipping down like so, you are keeping your low back still. All this movement is through your upper back and your mid back. You do a couple more of this one. And then we're going to move on to doing your scissors exercise. We're going to do the harder version of this because this is a, a hard ab session today. So hands onto your headlights, so you've got a little bit of feedback about what's happening around your pelvis. Then one at a time, bring your legs up into your tabletop position. Once again, check you've got that nice neutral tummy. Pelvic floor is onto floor three. And you're going to take one foot down and back up and the other foot down and back up. So this is your level two version. Start with this, just making sure your headlights are staying still. Once you're happy, you can do that easily. We'll make it into your level three, so now both legs are on the go at the same time. You're still keeping your headlights level, tummy neutral, so you're avoiding the imprint position. Pelvic floor is onto floor three, and you're keeping your ribs gently sinking down towards your pelvis. Keep your breathing nice and regular. If anything, you feel you need to have a rhythm, breathe out as you do the movement. That's a little bit tricky when your legs are moving quite so fast, so it's easy just to try and keep your breathing really steady. Okay, one more with each leg, and then both legs down. Give yourselves a little bit of a breather. And we're going to move on to your double leg stretch. We're going to do this once again from your tabletop starting position. So before you start, check your neutral tummy, 
Check your pelvic floor is onto floor three, legs back up into tabletop. We're going to bring your arms up above your shoulders. And this is a bit of a coordination challenge because you're going to be taking your arms over your head as your legs straighten. So your key elements here now are not only your headlights staying level, but that tummy staying in neutral so that your ribs are down towards your pelvis. Pelvic floor is onto floor three. Once again, keep the breathing regular. With your hands now, watch that your hands stay level with each other. So you haven't got one hand that's going way faster than the other. Think about your contact. You need to be able to move your hands, move your legs and for your hands to stay balanced and level with each other all the time. No matter what the rest of your body's doing, you want your hands to stay level. Do one more with each leg. Super job, okay. One at a time, bring your feet down and give yourselves a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a breather. Okay, we're going to move on now to your hundreds. Once again, we're going to do this from the tabletop position. Really get those abdominal muscles working hard to keep you still through this area. Okay, so one at a time, legs back up. Again, neutral tummy, avoid the imprint, pelvic floor onto floor three. And we're going to do the, the moving hundreds. So arms out to the side and then back in by your side. So arms are on the move the whole way through. Keep that breathing steady. Keep your ribs down to your pelvis. Remember, if your ribs start to creep upwards, you're going to change the angle of your hips, but you're also going to lose some of that connection, that connection, that control, that strength. It's all going out frontwards. It's not connecting between your seat and your contact. Keep that breathing. Keep the pelvic floor. Okay, super job. Bring your hands back by your side, one at a time, feet back down. We're going to turn onto your side and we're going to do your side kick. So you need to be in your capital L position, propped up, shoulders, hips, knees in a straight line, knees bent at 90 degrees. And we're going to do um, straight into one of the harder versions, so pelvic floor onto floor three, lift your pelvis, float your top leg, and then you're going to polish the imaginary coffee table underneath that top leg so your hip, knee and foot stay level, but your headlight stays still. So not only this, is this a brilliant exercise for your abdominals all down through your side here, particularly your transverse abdominals. They're very good for rotational stability actually as well. This is really good for combining abdominal and hip control. It's a great all round exercise. But again, watch the breathing. It's easy with this exercise to find that you're holding your breath, that you're bracing through your diaphragm Keep the breathing really regular. We'll do two more of this one. Okay, when we finish that one, we're going to squeeze straight round, do exactly the same thing onto the other side. So same starting position, up on your capital L, top hand onto your top headlight, pelvic floor onto floor three, float the top leg, and you're polishing that imaginary coffee table. So again, foot, hip and knee stay level. Headlight stays still, so all that movement is coming just from your hip. You want to be able to isolate your hip, but your abdominals are working hard to hold you up and to keep you still. They are a really important part of the stability picture. If you're weak in your abdominals, you will struggle with maintaining stability through your body when you want to move your arms and legs to give aids or to move with the horse. Our bodies really work as a whole. I know this is a, a specific abs session, but we're always working multiple muscle groups all in one go. Okay, two more with this leg. Lovely job. Okay, bring that leg down and we're going to go onto your hands and knees and we are going to do your leg pull. So you need to have your hands in front of your shoulders, knees approximately underneath your hips, toes tucked underneath your feet, pelvic floor onto floor three, then lift your knees and push over. You want to be in a, basically in a straight line, so avoiding dropping into a cobra, avoiding sticking your bottom into the air. So basically a straight line, back over and down. So it's lift, over, back over and down. Try to keep the pelvic floor onto floor three, all the way through. Try to keep your breathing nice and regular all the way through. And then we're going to see if we can make this a little bit harder. So the next one you do, I'd like to see if you can stay there and do 
some knees to chest. So now your abdominals once again are working hard to keep you still, keep you stable whilst you're moving through your hips. Keep the pelvic floor onto floor three. Keep that breathing really regular. One more with each leg. Back over. Have a little breather. Got one more challenge with this exercise, and that really is the last of your challenges. So we're going to lift those knees and come back over. This time you're going to see if you can do some shoulder taps. So you will find you rock a little from side to side, but again, use those abdominals to hold you in position. One more with each arm. Bring the knees back over. Come back with your hands, and we're going to do your shelf stretch. So slide your hands out, try to get your bottom onto your heels. If you can't get your bottom onto your heels, as near as is comfortable. And a couple of nice big breaths in if you can manage it. Then walk your hands towards your knees, bring yourselves up. And we're going to, again going to sit cross-legged. And we're going to finish off with another nice little stretch. When you've worked hard, it's important that you stretch a little bit when you finish. So hands together, turn them over, push forwards, and then stretch upwards. So stretch all down through your front, and bring your hands back down again. And again, push forwards, good big stretch, and reach up for a good big stretch. Come back down. I'm going to do one more. So forwards for a good big stretch and up for a good big stretch and then bring your arms back down by your sides. Okie doke. And just take a moment to check you've still got level weight through your seat bones. You haven't gone all wonky because you've been working hard. Well done if you got to the end of that in one piece. That was quite hard but it was quite short so hopefully you've managed to get through it okay. I suggest that you go and find an easier session now to do just to wind your body back down again a little bit. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you found it useful. Take care and I will see you next time.